Hi there. In this video, I'll be answering a question on the expansion of the universe. The question also covers graphs and we'll be calculating the age of the universe. See, you'll not get that in any other subject. Anyway, the universe is getting older every second, so we'd better get on with it. This is from the 2018 CFE Higher Physics paper. Hubble's law states that the universe is expanding. The expanding universe is one piece of evidence that supports the Big Bang theory. Part A then asks us to state one other piece of evidence that supports the Big Bang theory. So there's a list of possible answers here and I'm not going to explain all of them. That's for another time. We could state cosmic microwave background radiation and you'll need that written in full rather than just CMBR. You'll also get a mark for Olber's paradox which relates to the sky being dark at night as opposed to full of light from what was thought to be an infinite universe with no beginning and full of an infinite number of stars. There's also the abundance of hydrogen and helium in the universe. This is a pretty tricky point to cover here, but it gives strong evidence for the Big Bang theory since other models for the formation of the universe predict very small percentages of helium. Let's take a look at part B of the question. Good news, there's a graph. A student plots some of the original data from the 1929 paper by Edwin Hubble and adds the line shown in order to determine a value for the Hubble constant, h naught. The student calculates the gradient of the line and obtains a value for the Hubble constant of 2.0 times 10 to the minus 17 seconds to the minus 1. The age of the universe can be calculated using the relationship age of universe is equal to 1 over h naught. Calculate the age of the universe in years obtained when using the student's value for the Hubble constant. So let's get more space and plug that value of h naught into the equation. That means that the age of the universe is 1 divided by 2.0 times 10 to the minus 17, which gives us 5.0 times 10 to the power of 16 seconds. To convert that into years, just divide 5.0 times 10 to the power of 16 by the number of seconds in a year. That's 365 days in a year, with 24 hours in each day, 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in a minute. Of course, since every fourth year is a leap year, which gives us an extra day in February, you can also use the number 365.25 as the number of days in a year. Anyway, we get the answer of 15854895995. Sounds like a phone number. Years or to two significant figures, 1.6 times 10 to the power of 9 years. And don't worry, you also get the same answer if you do use 365.25 as the number of days in a year. Here's the first part of B part 2. The current estimate for the age of the universe is 13.8 times 10 to the power of 9 years. State why the value obtained in B part 1 is different from the current estimate for the age of the universe. Now, if you remember the graph from before, you might have spotted something a little bit fishy about it. That best fit line looks more like a worst fit line, as far as I'm concerned anyway. There are two points to the left hand side of the line and eight to its right hand side. If I was drawing a best fit line with those points, it would look a little bit more like this. So one answer we could give is that the student's line of best fit is drawn incorrectly. Since the student's best fit line was steeper than the one I have, then you could also say that the student's gradient is too large. Or, since the gradient gives a value for h naught, the student's value for h naught is too large. If you remember all the way back to the start of part b, we were told that the student plotted some of the original 1929 data, and quite a bit of time has passed since then. So it's also suitable to write that new data is now available, which would give us a more accurate value for h naught. The second part of b part 2 asks us to suggest a change that the student could make to their graph to obtain a value closer to the current estimate for the age of the universe. Two possible answers are that the student could draw the correct line of best fit. Just as well it's you who's doing higher physics, and not them. Or, you could write that the student could use more current data. If you're going for the first answer, it's important that you mention they draw the correct line of best fit, not just a different line of best fit. And that brings us to part C. It's been discovered that the rate of expansion of the universe is increasing. State what physicists think is responsible for this increase. The answer is, of course, dark energy. Now, even the brightest of scientific minds know very little about dark energy, which was once described as the most profound mystery in all of science. So there's very little chance that my wrinkly old brain can understand any of it. 
And on that bombshell, we've found our way to the end of another video. If you'd like to know when new physics videos are brought out, then subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Till next time, thanks for watching.